Hey y'all, Eddie Groves here. Uh, wanted to do a little demo on this uh, little Alessandro, I think that's how you say the name, uh, Rottweiler uh, tube amp. It's about 30 watts, I believe. It's about a 2005 model. And uh, I really want to thank our, our buddy Brian for redoing this amp for me. Man, I tell you what, I just can't, can't get over the tone of this thing. It is excellent. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. I've had it turned up a little bit, you know, and it's, it, she, she don't distort. She's clean. I mean, just absolutely clean. So we're going to turn it on, hook this Telecaster up through it. Tell you about the Telecaster first before we get get to going. So we'll do that so you know what kind of tones we can get out of this thing. So anyway, we'll learn about the guitar and then we'll go ahead and, and uh, do this. Okay, I wanted to go over the guitar that I'm going to be using for this demonstration. This is my uh, Japanese Tele. It, uh, I've had it some. It's got some modifications done to it. Uh, first biggest modification, I guess, would be on the back, which don't affect the sound that much. But the, the uh, Glacier B Bender, it was like that when I got it. A friend of mine had it put in when I bought it off of him. So. It's the Glacier B Bender on the back. <clears throat> um, I had some modifications done by by Guitar Tech in Moorhead, Kentucky. I took it up there and I had said I had some things I wanted to do to it. So uh, we've uh, went through. Let me go through this the way I've got it wired up. Okay, down. This is a super what they call super switch. And, uh, and I've got this pull knob that turns the humbucker into a single coil. And that little mini humbucker, I just love them things. That one there, believe it or not, came from GuitarFetish.com. And they have some great stuff there for cheap. I was really, really impressed with this little pickup for no more money. I paid for it, like 30 bucks. Plus, I bought the pick guard there, too. I mean, they're just... They've got good stuff. They don't rape you on shipping, and they get it to you fairly quick. So this is just a shout-out to GuitarFetish.com. I really think they're a good place to get some parts and stuff if you're going to do some modifications. Okay, on down here, we got this position, which is naturally your Telecaster bridge. Now when we go to here, second position on the switch, that's your little Strat-type thing, you know, with these two together now here's where it starts changing this here is these two to keep the telecaster configuration so you know to really do the tele you got to pull this just down the single coil but it thickens it up like that so it's a real good tone and here's another little different thing instead of like most of them in the fourth position on these switches you'll have these two together but I didn't want that I rarely ever used that. I wanted to keep this right here, the, the middle position, like on a Stratocaster. So, so right there, that's just this one right here, the, the center pickup. And then all the way up is your neck pickup, which is, you know, right now I've got that pushed in, so that's a humbucker out like that, single coil. So that's the way that works. So, uh, now that you've seen the guitar, let's get on to see what this guitar sounds like through the Rottweiler. Alright, I got the Telecaster hooked up to it, and uh, we're down in the bridge position. The, uh, I guess the camera's sitting about four feet from the, from the guitar amp. We're about four feet away, so hopefully, I don't know if the, the camera and microphone will do it justice, but we'll see. Since I'm a big Buck Owens fan, I guess we gotta, to, to really show off that Telecaster sound, you gotta go.
Alright, you go. That's the bridge position on the Telecaster. So we're going to go to that the, the bridge pickup and the metal position, kind of like the, the strat tone. <laughs> on the, the guitar, just the, the kind of the, bri the bridge and uh, uh, neck pickup. <laughs> some tubes and stuff and I'm not going to do that because I like it clean so. <laughs> Okay, going across the top, 
we have our input jack naturally and we got this it, it's equivalent to a bright switch <clears throat> on a fender amp the jangly's brighter than if you put it down in creamy got a chicken head knobs here with volume reverbed reverbs pretty good in this amp treble middle bass and it has a built-in power soak for a 30 watt amp this sucker gets pretty loud <laughs> you know tube, tubes tend to get a little louder in the transistor stuff solid state so I'm, I've been keeping it on 50 percent 100 percent you know it, it raises it up quite a bit so I usually just keep it here and so far in the gigs I've been playing I've just kept it right there I mean she's loud enough the way it is and, and it's a clean clean loud uh, I, I don't think you can put this thing in overdrive unless you go in and change some circuitry and tubes, whatever. And we got our standby and our on and off and the little red light. We always like it when the little red light is on, don't we, fellas? But the case is, uh, I think that's walnut, but she's beautiful, beautiful amp. Tweed, tweedy. Okay. <clears throat> we are on the back side of the Alessandro, or however you say it, I don't know, <laughs> of the Working Dog Rottweiler. It's a 30 watt uh, guitar amp. We have the the Eminence Red Coat speaker in it. Works great in this amp. We've got our tubes across there. Oh, let's see if we can get up in here. Give you a little look see. I can't believe the size of that transformer for this amp. I guess that's the transformer for the whole amp. Huh? Not much into knowing the, the electronics of one of these things. Wish I did. There's sad. I hope we're getting it because I can't see. <laughs> the, they tell me it was actually signed in inside there by the uh, George Alessandro. This is supposed to be like a 2005 model, I believe, of the Rottweiler. But she is a nice piece of, man, it's like, like a piece of furniture. She's really, really nice. And the sound, whoa. 